So, you ever eaten here before? No, I haven't. That's why I was glad that you picked it. Oh, true, true. All right, I got your appetizers. Seriously, it looks cold. That's because it's salad. Don't backtalk me, sweetheart. Get this shit off my table and get me a manager. <sighs> what was that? That's how you gotta handle dumb bitches. Ex fucking excuse me? Oh, calm down. I didn't call you a bitch and I was just joking. Anyway, after this, do you want to watch me and the boys play some wax? Oh, hell no. Excuse me, sorry to bother you again. Can you actually cancel that message to the manager? All we have to do is just kick out this motherfucker and everything will be just fine. What the hell? I thought you were having a good time. Oh, I was, until you put another woman down in front of me, who also just so happens to be our server. Oh, thank you. Would you want to hang out sometime? Oh my god, totally! Yay, new friends! Yay! What are you still doing here? Bye bye Wow, really? It's always the nice guys. Hey. Hey, you alright? Yeah, I just feel like I've been working for so long. Tell me about it. I'm working a double. I hate this place. Who's the manager today? I'm probably gonna tell them I have to leave early. Again? Seriously? Why? I watched this movie last night and it's like, it's got me fucked up. Like, you're trying to leave over a movie? It was my first time ever seeing Men in Black. I didn't know it was so sad. So now I feel sad and like, I just, you get it. You have depression, right? That's not even a sad movie, number one. And number two, well, I thought it was sad. Okay, whatever. <laughs> what does this even have to do with work? I can't work because I'm so sad. I'm sad all the time. Then just go home. Oh yeah, and how am I gonna pay bills? Can't you just ask your parents to chip in this month? No. I mean, if you need the money so bad, do you wanna take my shift tomorrow? And the shift after that? Thank you so much. Hello? Yeah, hi. I just got an update saying that my order was picked up, but you're still in the parking lot? Y yeah, I just got back in my car. I have your food. I'm about to- I need you to pick up the pace. Okay, well, my ETA is 10 minutes, so I'll see you then. 9 minute and 55 second timer starting now. Okay. <sighs> so weird. Hello? Me again. I know that the highway is typically faster, but I'd rather you take Spruce Street. Ma'am, I'm following my GPS, so if you want me to get there on time, please stop calling me. And since you're having trouble with basic accommodations at this job, I want to make sure that you read the directions carefully and you're going to knock when you get to my home. I saw that. I will do. So, would you want me to stay on the phone with you until you get here? I would not. Goodbye. Oh my god. <sighs> Hello? Your knock was so loud it actually woke up my child. What the f- Hey, can I get an order of everything you got? Because this is a holdup. Wait, that was confusing. Did you actually want everything on the menu? No, of course not. I want all your money, so open the register. Okay, so I cannot open the register unless you make a purchase. What the hell? That's pretty common nowadays. Is this like your first time? Well, shit. What am I supposed to do now? Do you want to just order something? Yeah. Can I just get a turkey sub and a drink? Sure. That's going to be eight ninety four. Here you go. Thank you. All right, your order will be out shortly. Sweet. Wait, I thought you were gonna give me money. Ugh, dang it, forgot. What? This is a freaking disaster. What am I supposed to do now? You could order something else. You're just embarrassing me. Uh, chocolate cake, chocolate cake. I'll add that to your order. In the meantime, I did activate our emergency system and the police are right behind you. That comes out to 2507. Okay. Oh wait, I think I might have that exact change. Hold on. Oh yeah, okay. I think I just have, maybe it's, uh, take your time. Uh, I give up. I don't know. Here's a penny. Wonderful. Uh, it looks like you're just short $10.06. No, that's impossible. Uh, I mean, I can count it again. No, no, because I'm pretty sure I gave you $30 and a penny. No, you gave me a 10, a 5, and a penny. What happened to the 20? I don't know. You never gave it to me. Of course I gave it to you. I put a 20 in your hands and now it's a 10. That doesn't make sense. You're right, that doesn't make any sense. That's why I'm telling you that you gave me a 10. No, this can't be right. Look at the money. So is the price actually 3507? No, it's still 2507. You just haven't given me enough. But I gave you a 20. Ma'am, we just went Your store is trash. Excuse me, the lead's mom's coming through. Lead mom. Oh, Bethann, is your daughter in the play too? Yeah, that's why I'm at this elementary school play tonight. Well, that's cute. You know, Amberjack got the lead role, of course. We're very excited for him, especially because there's scouts in the audience. Yeah, I don't think there's any scouts in this audience. They're here, Beth Ann. What part did your daughter get? Grace is playing one of the townspeople. Oh, well, I'm glad they found a role for her. Inclusivity. <laughs> what about your kid? My sweet, talented boy is playing Cogsworth, arguably the most heroic character in the show. Oh, well, I read in the pamphlet that he's an understudy. That's a common typo. I heard the original actor was pushed in front of a car. Oh, shush now, they're coming out. Jackie! Mommy's right here! 
Yo, 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 yo. Do you freaking mind? Oh, that's just our secret call to each other. Isn't it cute? Oh my god. Oh my god. Look. Y yes, I see. Mommy's so proud of you, sweetheart. Stop, stop, stop. Hi, I need to return this horrible lipstick. Okay, was it used? No, 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 definitely, definitely not. I'm one of those girls that can tell how good a product is just based on the quality of the packaging. So no, I didn't open it. No, no. Okay, yeah, no, I'm just asking because the seal is like totally ripped off. Um, really? Um, oh, <laughs> duh. I did try and open it. I totally forgot. I just looked inside and I just didn't like it. I didn't want to put it on my face, so I'm giving it back. So just to clarify, you didn't put on any of this bright blue lipstick today, right? Absolutely not. There is no way I would ever wear that color. Got it, no problem. I do just want to ask if you're feeling all right. Maybe you need me to call like 911 or something because it looks like your lips have turned an electric blue. Uh, oh, um, <laughs> this is just my natural look. <laughs> oh, okay, wow, that's such a crazy coincidence that you're returning this electric blue lipstick and your lips are naturally electric blue. Exactly, that's why I didn't want it. Your natural lip is coming off. Oh, Ma'am, do you mind just pulling up and someone will bring your order to you? I don't understand, why? Well, because your food's not quite ready yet and I just need to help the person behind you, so. Well, you don't want to help me? I don't get it. It's simply because your food's not ready and I just need you to move out of the way. Well, what kind of fast food restaurant doesn't have food that's fast? I mean, we still have to cook the food. It really shouldn't be more than three minutes and your food will be really fresh. What? I, I have to get back to work. Yeah, so does everyone in this line, so that's why I need you to just. What has this world come to? Are we really picking and choosing customers based on car preference? Because I don't know what else because all they ordered was coffee, which is ready right now. You ordered for the entire office. Well, I'm not gonna move my car and waste gas. Look, ma'am, I'm not gonna argue about I this. I got an order ready for Karen at the drive-thru. See, I knew I didn't have to pull up. Yeah, because you spent those three minutes arguing with me. <laughs> Go get your manager. Wait, but are you sure you have time? What the hell's the difference? Hey ma'am, can I help you with anything today? No, I don't need any help. I know exactly what I'm doing. Oh, okay, yeah, no problem. I'll be right over here if you need me. I'm sorry, does it look like I don't know what I'm doing? Because I'm just as knowledgeable as any man here. No, it's just I work here and I have to ask the customers if they need help. Listen, Henry, I'm independent, although my parents do claim me as a dependent still, but I'm going to fix the sink by myself. Okay. Okay, so bye-bye. Whatever. But let's just say in theory, one needed to clamp something small under the sink. What would they use? You're gonna wanna use the needle nose. Whoa, 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 don't tell me what to do. Just point me in the right direction. What? Just tell me the answer without telling me the answer. <sighs> Whoops, I accidentally dropped these ones. You know, now that I think about it, I knew all along that these were the right choice. I would thank you, but I did all the work, so. Want me to ring you up? Self-checkout. Just don't go past the sandbar. Her that increases your chances of getting hit by a boat. Ma'am, I'm sorry, but you can't have open alcohol on this beach. Excuse me? As per many signs on the beach, we just can't have you drinking openly. So if you don't mind, just- And where am I supposed to put it? Does it look like I have pockets? I wouldn't expect someone to put a drink in their pocket regardless, but- Are you telling me to chug it? No, I'm asking you to throw it away. Hmm, I can't recycle it. I suppose that was implied. Wow, so you just messed up because I've got a phone and I'm gonna record all of this and send it to the news and I'm gonna tell them that the beach cleanup dude is encouraging littering, so. So ma'am, if you can't cooperate, I'll just have you arrested for public intoxication. <laughs> Well, they're drinking over there. Yeah, they're drinking Gatorade. I literally saw them pour vodka into it. Yeah, no shit, that's what everyone does. Maybe that's what you should have done. So tip for next time. You know what, screw this beach anyway. It smells like fish. Yes. Amber Jack, Amber Jack, please don't yell at the fish. That's my son. I'm next in line for the vaccine. Hi there, so my friends told me to ask for the Pfizer. Can I get some of that, please? Well, you're in luck, that's the one I have. Okay, great, and I also heard that some of them have the government tracking devices, so I don't want any with that in it. Okay, good, because that's none of them. <laughs> Sweetheart, are you serious? Have you been on Facebook? Okay, so did you want the vaccine or what are we doing here? Well, of course I don't want it. It's being forced upon me. Kind of like jury duty. <laughs> Man, if you don't want it, I don't have to give it to you. <laughs> Is that a trick so you people can taste me when I try to leave? What? Oh, nothing. That's just a little stay-at-home mom humor. And I also want to get those uh, medicines that Donald Trump had. I heard those are good too. Oh, I'm sorry, but we don't actually have access to that. Oh, whatever. All right, inject me with the government aids. Go ahead. Go. Let's go ahead and schedule your second shot. I beat COVID. Oh, ma'am, please put your mask back on. We still have to. Oh, my friends told me the second vaccine's a scam. Hey, thank you for calling guest services at Walt Disney World. How can I make your day magical? I'm not sure that you can. You see, I'm very dissatisfied with the customs and policies that I witnessed on my last vacation. Hmm, do you mind elaborating so I can get a little bit more information? Well, my son was so excited to finally dress up as his favorite Harry Potter character, Seamus Finnegan, just to find out that there's no Harry Potter at your park. 
I see. Well, Harry Potter World is actually at Universal Studios, not Disney. Exactly. That's why we went to the park that has all the countries at it. We expected to see all people represented, but the Wizarding World was not. So we are extremely disappointed, to say the least. I do apologize for the confusion. Well, if you were truly sorry and actually want to make my day magical, I expect a full refund on food, travel, tickets, everything. Okay, well, we've never advertised having Harry Potter at our parks because we don't have the rights to it. So why doesn't Harry Potter have rights? No, no, we don't. Listen, Tinkerbell, I'm a Slytherin, so you don't want to mess with me. Okay, that doesn't get you a free trip to Disney though. Do you mind slowing down a bit? Girl, calm down. I know how to drive. I'm calm. I'm really, it's just you've been driving in two lanes for about 30 seconds now, just so you know. Oh, my bad. <laughs> you want me to text for you? No, no, I'm just trying to find music. Just hold on. I'm holding on, trust me. There's a stop sign. There's a stop Oh my God, is that a new Starbucks? Girl, you just ran that stop sign. What? I slowed down, and plus I need to get new brakes anyway, so I don't want to stop too much. I don't think that qualifies you to break the law. Yes, here we go, finally. All right, turn it up. Woo! Hope you guys liked this video and found it helpful. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel. It does help support us, and let's know what videos you guys want to see.